And you'll be able to watch it happen, you know, over the course of several years. Tesla just sent shockwaves through the tech world with leaks about its upcoming PiPhone 2026, a device expected to launch at just $319. For context, Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max starts at $1,299. That's nearly four times higher. But the real story isn't just about price. Tesla is positioning the Pi phone as a true game changer, a product designed to challenge Apple and Samsung's long-standing dominance. We've seen Tesla play this move before. Model 3 and the upcoming Model 2 brought premium EV technology down to mass market prices. So the big questions are, what unique features will Elon Musk bring to the Pi phone to make it stand out? Can a $319 device really take on the iPhone 17 Pro Max? And how might this shift affect everyday users like you, both in cost and in how we connect to technology? That's exactly what we'll break down in today's video. Welcome to Auto Gear Shift, the only place where Tesla rumors meet hard numbers. We keep it clean, sharp, and a little bit sarcastic. Because let's be real, you've got no time for nonsense. Now we're chasing down 10,111 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button and activate notifications. Let's scale this community with the efficiency of a Tesla factory. Price and market strategy. How can Tesla undercut Apple's stronghold? The first thing that jumps out is the sheer price gap. Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max starts at about $1,299 in the United States. And depending on storage configuration, buyers can easily spend over $1,599 for higher-end models. In contrast, Tesla's upcoming Pi Phone 2026 is expected to launch at only $319. That is a difference of roughly $980 compared to Apple's entry-level flagship and nearly $1,300 compared to the fully loaded versions. At that level, a customer could buy four Pi phones for the price of one iPhone 17 Pro Max. Tesla's approach looks strikingly similar to what it has done in the EV space. The Model 3 was the first step in pulling electric vehicles below the $40,000 threshold, while the upcoming Model 2 is projected to come in around $25,000, directly targeting buyers who were priced out of the EV market. The same logic seems to be at play with the Pi phone take features that feel premium, cut production costs through Tesla's integrated supply chain, and offer them at a price that dramatically expands the addressable market. Apple has steadily moved in the opposite direction, raising average selling prices year after year. The iPhone 14 Pro Max debuted at around $1,099, the iPhone 15 Pro Max at $1,199, and by the iPhone 17 generation, the base price has pushed to $1,299. That's an increase of about $200 in just three cycles, signaling Apple's confidence in the high-end segment, but also leaving mid-range buyers underserved. Samsung plays a similar game with its Galaxy S Ultra line, often priced between $1,199 and $1,399 leaving only a handful of options below $600 that can be called competitive. Tesla's $319 price point, therefore, doesn't just undercut Apple. It cuts into a market where there is virtually no true flagship competition. If the Pi phone can deliver features that even approximate what a $1,299 iPhone offers, it could upend the premium to mid-range balance of the smartphone market. Just as the Model 3 forced legacy automakers to rethink their EV pricing, the Pi phone could force Apple and Samsung to justify why their devices cost three to four times as much. And that might be exactly the kind of disruption Elon Musk is counting on. A quick question to you. Which worry feels bigger to you in real life? Comment 1. If you hate wasting too much money on phones. Comment 2. If you're afraid a cheap phone won't last long, share why in the comments. And we've got more Pi phone videos waiting if you're curious. Check them out on our channel. Standout features. How can Tesla out-innovate the iPhone 17 Pro Max? 
Beyond the aggressive price, what could truly make the Pi phone disruptive are the features Tesla is preparing to put on the table, many of which directly challenge Apple's most expensive device. One of the most visible differences is the display itself. The Pi phone is expected to debut with a true full-screen design, thanks to an AI-powered camera hidden beneath the panel. That means no notch, no dynamic island, and no cutout. Something the iPhone 17 Pro Max, despite costing over $1,299, still relies on. For consumers, it means the first Tesla phone could deliver the kind of immersive viewing experience Apple has yet to offer, even at four times the price. Battery technology is another area where Tesla is positioning itself to leap ahead. Reports suggest the Pi phone could ship with aluminum ion or sodium ion cells, capable of charging from 0 to 80% in about 10 minutes. By contrast, Apple's latest flagship continues to rely on advanced lithium ion packs, which, even with improved fast charging, cannot match that level of speed or endurance. What makes Tesla's approach notable is not only the charge rate, but also the expected lifespan, projected at two to three times longer than today's lithium ion cells. For users, that could mean keeping the same device in service for twice as many years before degradation forces an upgrade. Connectivity is another front where Tesla could draw a sharp line. The Pi phone is expected to integrate directly with Starlink satellites, giving users reliable voice and data access, even in areas with no cellular towers. Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max does offer satellite SOS messaging, but it is limited in scope and cannot replace everyday connectivity. For buyers who travel, work in remote areas, or simply want peace of mind in an emergency, the difference between full coverage and an SOS-only lifeline is substantial. Tesla is rumored to be loading its own Tesla OS, powered by the same AI5 processing hardware currently being developed for its full self-driving system. This would make the phone more than just a mobile device. It could act as a seamless extension of Tesla's vehicles and even its Optimus robots. Apple's A19 Bionic chip inside the iPhone 17 Pro Max remains one of the fastest mobile processors on the market, but its ecosystem is oriented toward apps, games, and media. Tesla, by contrast, seems to be building a phone that is tightly woven into a broader technological fabric, from cars to robotics to satellites. That ambition ties directly into Elon Musk's broader AI agenda. The Tesla CEO has repeatedly described XAI's next model, Grok 5, as a monster in the making, with the potential to rival or surpass human-level reasoning. Musk recently highlighted how Grok 4 already produced state-of-the-art results on the ARCAGI benchmark, with competition entries using the model rated among the best ever submitted. According to Greg Kamrat, head of the ARC Prize Foundation, developers who tested Grok 4 described it as the best model I've ever used. With Grok 5 training scheduled to begin within weeks and Musk suggesting a release before year's end, the Pi phone could arrive backed by AI capabilities that no current smartphone has even attempted to integrate. Finally, the Pi phone's display is expected to push brightness between 2,500 and 3,000 nits, far above most smartphones on the market. Apple's iPhone 17 Pro Max tops out around 2,000 nits in outdoor peak brightness, meaning Tesla could give users a screen that remains crystal clear in direct sunlight an advantage that matters most in real-world, daily use. Taken together, these expected features suggest that Tesla isn't just aiming to undercut Apple on cost. It is trying to redefine what consumers can expect from a $319 phone, stacking technology that competes directly with a device priced four times higher. Tesla isn't just trying to sell a phone. It's declaring war on the $1,299 smartphone status quo, so here's what I want to know. Would you take a risk on a first-gen Tesla phone if it delivers those promised features? Do you think Apple's brand power is strong enough to keep you locked in? Or is this the moment we finally see the smartphone market disrupted the way EVS were? If this video gave you something to think about, hit like, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, 
and ring that bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Because Tesla rumors don't wait, and neither should you.